What? They're gonna go up for it again. The level one Firestorm is laid out. And they are gonna take a lot of damage from that, but they're still gonna charge forward. They cannot not That's afford to give up those bounty runes and fade. He gets another Shadow Realm. The might kill, be able to kill, no, no, tell, no, tell, no, tell, no, tell, no, 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 Why is everyone tipping Silent? What just happened? I have no idea. Oh, all right. Well, that made me miss the mid lane kill where Thompson kills the Alchemist. So I guess Morphling really can dumpster Alchemist. Yeah, he's beating him in CS and now he just got... Is that Was that a solo kill? Looked like it, yeah. There's nobody around. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Wait, no. Uh, no Tail's got two assists. I believe No Tail was there for that as he's trying to get pretty low here. Fade. Fade might be able to kill No Tail. But Anna does manage to run down Yang. Fade is still going to go for this kill, though. Splinter Blast bounce back. Does manage to slow down Fade a little bit. Anna's going to try and go for this kill. Shadow Realm is up, though. Look at Fade. He knows he can tank this a little bit more before he pops the Shadow Realm. Anna hides in the trees, though, to make sure he doesn't take that big hit of magic damage. Thanks. He gets boots. Ursa gets Phase boots. Mid, freeze. No, I'm going to watch Yang die again. Yang's not going to die again. Dude, Yang is definitely gonna die. Yang's not gonna die. Get out of there, Yang. Walk on your four legs. <laughs> <laughs> Use those arms. <laughs> oh, he's so dead. He is mega dead. You're so small. And it's gonna pop the healing cell top lane. Is anything going on here? Maybe there's gonna be something going on soon. Fisher block onto Siler. Gets hit by the aftershock as well. Siler's oh, gonna Siler. die, maybe. Ooh, 30 HP. He's gonna oh, grab some bounty runes though for his team. And the shrine is available. But once DDC. again, DDC is getting low. Seb is. Seb oh, is body block him! Ah, uh, he didn't have enough HP. He didn't stay ahead of him. Siler I mean, doesn't, doesn't have Shikuchi oh, again. He's gonna get hit by that aftershock. And a Fisher goes out. He managed to get the bugs away. Oh. Drifts on out. DDC gets as much damage onto Jerex as possible while the bugs. Yeah, look is at still that there. teamwork. Seb sees that uh, Jerex is lower than he is. So he focuses on his bug first. Siler's going for it though. Siler, that okay. Well, okay, the shrine goes just down. He's getting his bottle. He's just getting his bottle. bottle. Yeah. Okay, I thought he was going for Seb. Gets hit by the stun. Does have a raindrop that'll protect him a little bit, but the follow up here from Fade is going to make this one. difficult. Jarex does manage to get a fisher block Jarex inside. Is so Siler, good. he does have a Shikuchi, Siler but he's going stuck inside the tower range, so he's dead, and they can't Yo, get out of the shell around. Too. Fade is dead as well. What a hit from Jarex. Fade will die. DDC is going to be caught up by the Treants. Get in front of him, and you can body block him. Oh, keep up that body block. Seb, just keep doing it to him. Just keep down on DDC. Another block in. The block boys return, and BJ Thunder lose their tri lane. Look alive, Seb. Flex on the haters. Whew. I know I said I wanted the maximum drama, but I kind of want to see Reddit get saltier. <laughs> it's a win win, really. Oh man, Siler has abandoned that lane. He wants no part of it anymore. I remember Siler from game one, the part of the reason it looks so good, he was just farming nonstop. He was farming and then getting no tail kills. That was just like his day to day. I'm gonna swap lanes here as Freeze. Hey, go the vision. They're gonna be able to slow him down. Great kill. That was a beautiful setup between the two of them. They really judged that perfectly. And a block. They're going to know about the ward, though. Tower. Yeah, for sure. But Yang, he could be caught. Jarek's going to run right next to him. Manage to get the aftershock hit with the enchant totem. Follow up. Fisher blocks. Yeah. Yang is dead. Another kill as 9-2. to two. This is the first time since the sniper support that I have seen OG win a laning phase. They've won all the games. Yeah. But this is the first time I'm going to see them. Maybe this is some weird reversing and they're going to get crushed. Who knows? But Thunder are not keeping up right now. More than a kill a minute so far for OG. And Thunder, I feel like last game tilted them a little bit. Yeah. But they still have an Alchemist. So there are still ways for them back Dyer's into this game. Tower is under attack. For sure. It's just easy to be a hype for a team that's getting so many kills. They're up 5k gold right now, just 8 minutes. Slowing them down. Do you manage to steal some oh. of those neutrals? That's pretty important. Freeze hopping his way back in. He's like, oh no, my stack. No tail. He's out. Steals it and he's gone. Dyer's and Freeze is like, please, they're tilted. I'm begging you, de-ward this. He's like, guys, we know that there's a ward here. Somebody do something about this as Topson. 380 HP, but Dyer's middle tower look at Seb. He's playing defensive at the perfect moment. I mean, they're taking mid tower. They're just like 
past the tier one cutting creep wave. So Seb knows he's like, there's got to be some heroes down here in this bottom. There are three heroes here for quite some time. As Silas finally going to go for the dive anyway. Managed to get the bonks on top of him. They have no stun. He canceled the teleportation to turn around and try and hit Siler, but it was a bait. Is he going to get hit by the stun? The magic missile hits him first. Jarek's going to come in, try and stun up Siler. Hits the Fisher onto both of them. Siler does have the Shikuchi though. Now he's trapped inside of the Brambles. He can't really get out of here. DDC has another stun coming forward. Siler will clean that one up while mid lane they kill Yang again. But at least VGJ Thunder do manage to get some tip, tip, tip. They're all tipping Seb. Dyer's structures are fortified. Oh, I love it. Dude, what level is y Yang is still level five. This man is suffering. This I mean, is why, I mean, we were talking about why we don't like that one hero, uh, Underlord. Yeah. Just, I just don't like this hero. It just feels... Dude, it already feels pretty useless if you've got farm. I just, when it doesn't have farm, it feels so bad. I remember I was telling you, this, in this weird meta of where everyone dual lanes, it just doesn't feel like it does enough. DDC is going to be caught. And Thompson turns into a Vengeful Spirit to hit him with a Magic Missile. Got to put that importance on controlling the map. They've already taken the towers. Now they can just control the areas, make sure the Bounty Runes don't filter in for the Alchemist. Bottom lane is starting to get pressured. Everyone down here is Siler going to make his way forward. He's got to be careful here, though. No tail, not level six. I Underlord. hear an Underlord ult being popped, and it's going to be to the tier two. Ooh, Thompson takes a good amount of damage there from Siler. What's the defense here as Siler is going to run into no tail here? Chased away a little bit. Yang will be able to clear through a lot of these creeps, but now the Siege Wagon's here as well. Siler forced into a time lapse. And this is buying a lot of time for Jerex in this mid lane. Yeah, he's... He may have a very fast blink dagger if this kind of space continues. No tail. Nice little juke around the brambles. Bait does have his level six, though. And that is the one big thing. Dark Willow does not give you that much laning phase pressure. Not a great support in that regard. But once he hits six, the game does change pretty heavily for you. Dyer's bottom tower has been Deny on the offlane tower. Freeze is spotted again while he's trying to jungle. He's just giving no space. No peace of mind anywhere he goes. And they're going to do Roshan. Sir. They've got the Furion Ursa combination. All you need is something to tank for the Ursa, and it's a free age of super early on. He already has the Blink Dagger. Watch this boy go mega aggro now. A Blink at 11 half minutes in, and an Aegis on top of that. He can be fearless. So far, so good. It's a uh, 6,000 gold lead. Everyone on the side of OG seems pretty fearless at this point. <clears throat> DDC trying to stack up with Wave of Terror. He's got a nice little triple stack here. Siler's going to run into Jarex. Jarex, he was hoping to be able to cut over, but now maybe Siler can actually kill him. Gets the bugs on him. Has to be a little bit wary, though. He has the Echo Slam, and they have the Winter's Curse to hold him in. Jarex is going to be able to get the combo stun. The Vengeful Seer set as well, so they're not going to be able to get... Oh, nice Terrorize, but it doesn't manage to save the, the Weaver. Weaver? Shaking. The Venge Weaver oh, Illusion. Oh, the Venge Weaver Illusion ran Yang, down. Yang, get out of there. Yang, what are you doing, bro? My guy. Yo, did you not get the memo? They're all here. Oh, the stacks are going to get taken now, too, by Topson. Dyer's middle tower and the mid-tier attack. two tower is going to fall as OG. Top tower they are playing attack. some reckless Dota, but they don't care. They'll take everything from Dyer's you as it's tower. now bits 8k at 12 DDC minutes. slow down, Anna. Blink dagger coming up. One second. Doesn't want to go for it. No, not at all. As Freeze just continues to farm out. This is the guy that the entire game is on at this yes. point. None of the other heroes on the side of VG Thunder matter. I meant to say VG J Thunder. Sorry, Jeremy Lin. He's listening. DDC has a swap. He knows he's spotted, but he can't stop Anna. 
But they do manage to get the Brambles, plus the bug on him. And it's going to try and deal with the bug because he's already taking so much damage. They need to be careful, though. Jarex is here. Siler has to jump out. And they do manage to blow up the Dark Willow before he could get the shadow. Oh, it was on cooldown. No tell thought about using the curse, but. Bottom lane, Yang's trying to get away from Thompson. They're going to reveal him. And the ultimate, the Dark Rift, just isn't going to be able to get him away fast enough. Siler's still trying to hunt for supports, but they're all pretty healthy. That is the sixth death from Yang, and this is why we don't really Seize like no that tail. hero. They do have the Winter's Curse. No Tail's gonna turn around, Winter's Curse him. Are they gonna get it again? Fisher. See if they can control him long this enough. Tyler's just so, mo so many stacks. DDC, he just died, and he's gonna die again. They are 19 getting to run 5, 11,000 gold lead, VGJ Thunder. Is it even possible for them Dyer's to come back into this, Jerex? He's, he's hunting Freeze. This Dyer's is the, you said this is the man. The game rides on him. Well, Jerex made a little bit of extra effort to hunt him down. He's gonna make sure that Freeze can escape from Anna. And they're going into the high ground here. Yang, you've gotta be careful. A basher up now for Anna. What? HG Thunder just had to play high ground now. They've got a core that's 0, 3, and 0. They've got another core that's 1, 3, and 2. And they've got a core that's 0, 6, and 1. The situation for Thunder is looking awfully bleak as this, just the speed at which OG is playing is kind of crazy right now. It feels like they're getting better from game to game, too. Yes. The squad is starting to gain some confidence here as Jerex. Gonna finish oh, out. them off just to make sure they get the bounty oh, room so all four of them will go to OG. Exodia! I'm really into that concept. I, I hope Ice Frog, he answers that email. Yeah, you just keep bringing it up in every cast and maybe he'll eventually <laughs> listen in. I'm so sorry, guys. For some, I, I find it so entertaining because I'm really stupid. <laughs> Straight <laughs> up. All right, there's <laughs> Hannah gets the bash. Uh, I'm bye -bye. so glad that esports casting exists. I would not make it in any other field in this world. And I barely make it as is here. <laughs> As Thompson almost has a Lincoln's completed at 15 minutes, the Winter's Curse goes on to Yang. Winter's Curse is and rolling for a seven death. Terrorize, Yang, no, he's not still making dead. it out. He still gets hit by No Tail. Managed to get the Splinter Blast to finish him off. And Thompson preemptively just morphing into strength. Got a little bit worried, but Radiance drawing all over the map. Jerex wants to go and kill Siler here, and Seb has an Orchid to be able to do it too. Meanwhile. The rest of the team, they just keep on doing the Shadow Realm. Oh, they're actually going to be able to get the Brambles onto DDC. <laughs> DDC. <laughs> Thompson, this is not a bad little more for him to turn into. The Bramble snags up Siler. He's going to go to the back line, see if he can actually kill No-Tail pretty quickly. He might be able to do it. Big Shadow Realm hit. Not quite enough. Now the Sun lands on Thompson, so No-Tail does end up going down. Couldn't Seth. get the Orchid fast enough. Anna is going for freeze. Managed to get the bash too, and gets another round of Fury Swipes onto him. Yang. Yang. He just keeps on beating up all these tanky heroes. Anna finally goes down. It's the Aegis. They have to make sure he can't blink away. That's why the Shikuchi gets the instant damage. They have the purge to be able to swap. slow him down. Can they get a swap out? Can they get a sprout away? Something to be able to save Anna's oh, life. DDC. Back to Missile Sun. DDC in the back lines already dies to Thompson, but they're so focused on Anna. They need to be able to kill him, but Shikuchi, he has no mana. So Siler has to back up. Siler oh, may die if he doesn't turn Shikuchi away, and they're so done. VGJ Thunder. They are tilted for days. And they this may be the last game of the day, but they got a reset for tomorrow. They almost got two kills a minute. And they got more than a thousand golds a minute. 